the uni's first team got the game underway and they were the side to really kick on in the opening exchanges and an early try from Patty Marshall was well deserved. Liam Rhodes added to the first lead with a couple of well taken penalties giving the first an 11-0 lead after only 20 minutes. Yet soon after, the seconds blew the uni side away with three tries in five minutes. First, Garrick Bainbridge leapt over the falling challenge ahead of him to get the seconds back into the game. And just minutes later, Bainbridge struck again with a sprinting run down the left flank, sidestepping the incoming challenge to score the try. Their final try of the half was remarkably simple, with Alex Yeats out sprinting uni's James Fowler to leap on top of the loose ball. John Falconer managed to extend the lead with an excellent conversion. With a little help from a friend, Ben Ashby, the seconds managed to add to their flurry of points. Yet the first half offered up yet another twist, as the first Tom Sorolo's fantastic weaving sprint culminated in a try. The conversion from Liam Rhodes put the first 18-17 up going into the break. With only one point in it, the second half was a much more tense and physical affair. It took 20 minutes for any points to be scored, when James Fowler, having been out sprinted earlier, showed his pace to race down the right flank and score a try. Rhodes' kicking was extremely consistent throughout the match and he showed his ability again to convert the try. The first looked to have solidified their victory with those points, but again the seconds fought back to score two tries right before full time to steal the victory. First John Falconer broke down the touchline before Bainbridge scored his third try of the evening, bundling the ball across the line after a period of intense build-up to lead the seconds when in the game, 27-25. Despite the loss though, the first saw the game as great preparation for the book season. Yeah, I think it was a uh, great performance. I mean, um, it was tough in some areas for us, but we've been working really hard at training and stuff, a lot with the fits on the Friday morning. But the boys put a good shift in. Um, Scrums, we struggled a bit, but we can set that into training and develop it for our next one. But all in all, I think it's a uh, massive learning curve. Yeah, there is. Can't fault the effort from the boys. Um, we've got our first league match next Wednesday, so I thought it was great preparation to play against a good outfit in the um, Winchester second team. Like, can't fault their effort. And if we uh, if we look at the clubs sort of where it was three years ago when we started university, we've, we've come such a long way and it's just constantly developing. So it's uh, all in all, I think it's great. Next up for the uni side is a game against Bristol whilst the seconds are set to take on the Totonians in the league.